Hi, this is Graham Helfrich, Technical Advisor Manager for the Engineering Software here at IHS Market. Welcome to the weekly Did You Know episode where we learn how to do something of value that you probably didn't know about your IHS Market engineering software. About a month ago, we were driving home at night and uh, we hit a moose actually it was really scary because uh, moose are so tall and their body is the same height as our windshield actually so in canada over the last 20 years or so there's been 300 people killed from hitting moose with their cars so it was kind of after the fact i was a little bit you know shaken and sure grateful that uh we came out okay now my insurance company that i've actually been with for 20 years uh, after this accident, they told me that my rates were going to go up. So I started shopping around and comparing different insurance providers. So after getting different quotes and comparing providers, I landed on State Farm as my new provider. So in the same way that I compared different insurance companies, imagine if you could compare the forecasts from Aries, Valnav, Mosaic, OFM, whatever, with your forecasts in harmony. Or imagine if you could compare your RTA forecast against what you have for your reserves forecast in harmony. And that's what we're gonna talk about today, importing any external forecast from many wells at one time into harmony to compare them. I should mention a lot of oil and gas companies are using harmony as their standard way to forecast production from wells and so this is one of the ways they will uh, transition taking their previous forecasts and comparing them in harmony. Now there's a bunch of uh, other episodes from the past that are going to kind of complement today's topic so I'll mention those for you now. Episode number 14 is about monitoring wells when it deviates from your forecast but it also shows how to directly import your Aries forecasts. We have a dedicated Aries import so check out episode number 14 for that. Check out episode number 24 just to see how you can export any of the declines from Harmony into your reserves tools. Episode number 11 just shows how to automate declines um, really quickly in Harmony. And episode number four just shows if you make a numerical reservoir model and you forecast from it, how do you convert that model forecast into an ARPS decline? So you can kind of benchmark it against your reserves numbers okay so let's jump into harmony now so i've got harmony here i've got about 60 wells i want to import a third party decline from or forecast into harmony so this is my source data so this is basically the api number or well identifier uh, this is the kind of month this is the decline name this is the monthly volume or rate for each of these wells. So this is my um, external third-party forecast that I want to import into Harmony. And there's about 60 wells in this text file, or it could be in Excel. Now in Harmony, we got to get this set up a little bit. So I'm going to go to a well. I'm going to go to the production editor. And I want to add a column to my production called third-party forecast. So we'll add a Data set, we'll call it it'll be in this case these are oil wells, so it'll be a fluid rate or volume, whatever you prefer, and I'll put it under production and we're gonna pick input. So I basically am making a blank column called third party forecast, and you'll see as you toggle between every well this column will exist. So you just have to do this one time. Now we're gonna go ahead and import your third party forecast, whether it's from Mosaic, Valnav, it doesn't matter what the source is. It's production. So when we're importing from that text file or spreadsheet, we need to tell Harmony what do these columns mean. So this is our time, it's date time. It can automatically identify that it's month and year. This is my well identifier. In this case, it's API number. 
and this is my oil rate. Now I don't want to put it under oil because that's going to think it's actual production history. Instead we're going to go down to custom data set and see here's that third party forecast column that we assigned and here it says it's in standard uh, barrels per day. So there we go. Now the way this works is in this particular import I have a single column with well identifiers and eventually it's going to switch to a different well and I want to separate the wells based on their API number. So what I can do is click separate and we'll see now that there's a different worksheet or a different tab for every single well based on where the API number changed in the text file. Okay, so I can kind of see a preview of the forecasts that we're going to import here on the bottom and we'll say okay. So since these wells already exist in Harmony and have an API number, it's going to know which wells to assign these imported forecasts to. Now in this case, I'm just bringing in an oil forecast, but you can bring in multiple fluid uh, streams out for each well at the same time if you want. Okay, it's all done. Let's go check out one of our wells. So down in the production editor, we see that we have our actual historical volumes under gas and oil volume. And then this is where our forecast begins that we are importing from another program. Okay. Now the way we can view this is we're going to go add a rate time plot. Here's our historical production data. And under the plot selection, we're going to go ahead and add that third party forecast. So now we can see both the history and the imported forecast from another source. Okay, now if you want to make this sort of view uh, appear on every single well as a bit of an automated way, all you need to do is add a new workflow and we're going to call this our oil view with third party forecast. Okay. So now I can pick all the other wells that are here. I'll say apply what I've just done here. And it's basically just adding a worksheet with that exact view where we see the historical oil rate and the imported forecast for each well. Good, so now we can click on any well, see the history and that imported third party forecast that we've brought in for each well. Pretty nice, right? Now the next thing we may want to do is do some declines in, in Harmony, whichever decline parameters we've set up, and we can go ahead and apply them and see if they are different like this one, or sometimes they might be the same. Every program Every software company is going to have a different way they do a match on the history, but you can see how close the forecasts are from what you're importing to what Harmony wants to create for a decline. Or like I said, if you have done RTA on a well, you'll be able to see the forecast here, turn it on, and compare a numerical reservoir forecast against the third-party forecast that you've imported. So overall, I think this is a pretty big and typical request we get, and I wanted to show you how easy it can be. So at the end of the day, what does this mean for you? Well, I think the big thing is you can take a forecast from any source outside of Harmony, bring it in and compare it to forecasts that you create in Harmony, whether it's from a decline analysis in Harmony or an RTA model forecast. Now, the other thing is if you've kind of been hesitating to do all of your decline work in Harmony, because you don't really have an easy way to compare your Aries, Valnav, Mosaic, or OFM forecasts. Now you do have an easy way to do these comparisons and finally do all your decline work in Harmony. So 
the takeaway here is when you need to compare forecasts from different sources, just like I needed to compare insurance providers after hitting the moose, consider Harmony to do this in the easiest way possible. And that's it. Thanks for your time. If you have any questions, give me a call or email and subscribe to be notified of next week's episode.